Hi everybody, I'm Ole, this is Portlight Astro. So this will be the first of many videos I uh, suspect uh, in a series about uh, how to modify and fix your Newtonian telescope. After I bought the telescope I've been uh, making tweaks uh, almost after every image session I have and uh, I'm finally starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, this first uh, video will uh, be about uh, moving the primary mirror uh, so uh, we can get the focus point uh, a bit further out so that the focuser can have some more room to work on. So finally I'm getting, uh, getting started to the point where I uh, feel that I'm uh, able to take some images. Uh, one of the main struggles so far is the obstruction in the light path uh, in the telescope. It's about uh, the main mirror being too far back means that uh, I have to put my sensor a lot closer to the secondary mirror. And uh, this means that uh, the, the tube that I put my coma corrector on and uh, mount the, the camera and things like that uh, actually goes into the, the telescope and obstructs some of the light paths uh, inside. Uh, I was quite furious about uh, this thing. I was felt like uh, a lot of waste of time to get a telescope and have this sort of problem. Uh, I was told that there wouldn't be too much difference with it, but uh, I can see on my images that there's some kind of uh, things going on inside the telescope that uh, shouldn't be going on. So uh, what I'm doing right now is uh, I have um, I've taken the main mirror off from the telescope, um, so I have it right here. Uh, and as you can see, uh, if I've got some uh, 80 millimeters uh, M6 uh, screws, uh, so they're a lot longer than uh, the, the normal size uh, screws that are on. So I'm actually moving the main mirror around four centimeters higher or, or deeper inside the telescope. Uh, that will uh, make the the focus point go farther out so I can extract the focus there so it doesn't obstruct the view in the in the telescope. So yeah, if you're wondering uh, how to uh, push the main mirror on your Newtonian uh, forward, uh, leaving more space for the focuser to work, right now I think I have like a couple of millimeters uh, before uh, the focuser actually goes too far uh, far in, so it, uh, it can't be able to focus. Uh, but I've managed to get it along so far. But this will of course uh, leave a lot of space for my, uh, for my focuser as well to, uh, to be able to, to get that uh, good focus in. So today I'm uh, fixing this one, trying to <laughs> mount the pieces uh, together. It's a bit of a puzzle. Uh, I got um, M8 uh, uh, hexagon uh, fixer, uh, we call it uh, Mutter, uh, I have no idea what it's supposed to call it. Let's take that again. So yeah. Uh, I have uh, got some M8 nuts uh, to go with the M6 bolt, so they just uh, work as uh, spacers. And I have uh, some uh, M6 spacers uh, as well, so I have four of those uh, on top of, uh, of the main mirror. And I'm, um, as I mount uh, this one through, I'm uh, just fixing the, the nuts. Uh, and holding them together so I can um, be able to have some good space uh, between and I feel more comfortable uh, with it being uh, some solid uh, spacers in between, not only the, the bolt. Pretty sure it doesn't really matter that much, but I mean, for just for my kind of <laughs> Safer, or what you will call it, uh, I will uh, I will have them under there. Uh, they will of course work as well with the with the, um, the feather that is uh, pushing uh, pushing the main mirror. 
uh, living room for, for that as well. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I will be able to uh, use this uh, telescope soon, be able to produce some images. It's just uh, got me a lot of grey hairs since I, since I bought it, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I hope this video wasn't too long, but um, here is a nice example of how you can uh, push the mirror uh, further into the, to the telescope. Uh, so hopefully this means that uh, I have pushed it around four or five centimeters. That should mean that my focuser will go four or five centimeters outside. I will get the telescope uh, in here so you can see uh, what I mean. As you can see in here, the focuser is obstructing somewhat into the main mirror. So it's causing some kind of disturbance in the, in the light. I'm pretty sure of. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this, I don't, it's kind of hard to see, but there's not much room for the focuser to work on right now, but we should, uh, we should leave the, the focuser at least four centimeters longer. I've just uh, fixed all the, all the screws. I have tightened, uh, tightened the collimation screws a bit now, uh, just to get some flexure in the system so it's not wiggling around. Uh, I feel pretty comfortable with the, with the hexagon nuts that I put in between. I think those are helping make it a bit more stable as well. Uh, so now it's just time to mount everything together and see, uh, see <laughs> how, how it will end up. Uh, it's the first time I'm moving uh, the, the main mirror. I tried to search on forums and things like that, but there's not a lot of things coming up. Uh, again. I'm kind of irritated that uh, people are making telescopes like this um, because it's a, it's a focuser and coma corrector problem uh, as well. Uh, and when you make uh, a telescope that the, the user has to, has to make modifications on like this, I mean, the astrophotography hobby is just so kind of hard to get into uh, with all the equipment going on that uh, this makes it even harder uh, and uh, I think uh, those that are uh, producing these telescopes uh, should know that that uh, this is not uh, how we want to uh, to promote the hobby and uh, people uh, entering uh, into this I mean maybe I'm a bit exaggerating but um, and maybe not the Newtonian F4 8 inch telescope is for beginners. Uh, I still consider myself a beginner, even though I, I have some experience. Uh, so coming, facing these problems just makes it a bit harder for me to just go out and enjoy the hobby. But yeah, uh, this means that uh, I have to check the auto guider, the off axis guider and uh, the focus and everything again have to collim collimate uh, the telescope of course uh, and, and things like that but yeah I think that will be okay uh, I have to use a flat iron now because uh, I didn't get any hexagon bolts or uh, uh, or allen key bolts or something like that so uh, I think it's called allen key I hope so um, uh, but yeah uh, anyways I hope you guys uh, have some uh, motivation of, uh, of doing this uh, yourself now uh, maybe some some more uh, more feeling and, uh, and uh, how it is to do it uh, this was pretty easy I would say if you a bit handy then it shouldn't be a problem so yeah um, enjoy the night sky hope you have uh, clear skies and, uh, and all that and I see you later thanks for watching <laughs>